we're going to be talking about um, how to apply your instinct on set. And of course, um, you know, everyone wants to be instinctive. The performances that touch you and that grab your attention and that like crack through you when you're watching them are the performances that are instinctive, the ones that make a difference in your life, make a difference in everyone's life, the ones that are, you know, rememberable. Memorable? No, not rememberable, memorable. Uh, the ones that are surprising you, that are instinctive, that are in the moment, that are not planned ahead, that are not controlled. However, when I meet actors moving into our community in the beginning of doing this work, what I'll see is that um, they'll often have big resistance or fear, I would say, to using their instinct on set because you may think that you need to actually submit or respect the work of the director, respect the story, respect the character, respect the schedule. And so in a way, you may feel like there's really no room for me to just do whatever I want. I have to... Um, I have to kind of submit to the authority of the story, the character, the director. It's not all up to me. I can't do and feel and go with every impulse that I have because I have a set of things to respect. The story is happening in a certain way. The character is a certain person. The director has a certain vision. And I can't just do whatever I want, right? I, I Like you may think I can't just do my thing and it can't go my way. I have to honor what's there, the authority. And I get that it's really scary in the beginning to actually go into your instinct and show up in that grand way because you want to do good. You got the job, um, you're on set, and so you don't want to be fired. You don't want to get in trouble. Um, you don't want to disrespect the story or the director's direction. And so you're wanting to do good work. You're wanting to be professional. And so I understand that you may have some um, resistance or fear to using your instinct, to being instinctive on set because of the amount of obligations, time restrictions, storytelling, narrative, character, other characters, etc. All the interactions together is a lot of pressure and may make you feel like there's no room for you to just go wild. And um, so you may have tried in the past knowing that you have to be instinctive in order for you to be fulfilled, in order for you to have an impact on your audience. You know you have to be instinctive, and yet you want to have that respect for the story and the character and the director. So what you might have tried in the past is to try and give them what they want, in the best possible way and like look as natural as you can like okay i'm gonna I'm, I'm i'm feeling something else but i'm i'm gonna respect the story or i'm gonna listen to the director and just give him what he wants and try to be as natural as i can right you might have caught yourself in that um experience and of course the problem is it doesn't work it's not fulfilling for you because you're not fully expressing your truth in that moment so you're not fully expressing what you've been hired for you know that at the end of the day it's not going to impact the audience it's not going to make a huge difference because you're not actually free and truthful and you're the alive material on set and so the aliveness of the story depends on you being able to be alive in the moment. And so if you're shut down and if you're listening to direction like a puppet, of course, it won't work for anyone. So what's um, what I would like to talk about is not the fact that it's the direction's problem or the story's problem or your problem or who. I'm not going to blame anyone. What I'm going to say is that the reason now that you are afraid of using or of being instinctive on set is because so far what you have experienced of your instinct is not your instinct. It's maybe not even the tip of the iceberg of what your instinct actually is. So I'm going to say that again. The problem of using your instinct on set is not because there's the pressure of the authority and the story and the director, etc. It's not that. It's because the way you know your instinct is so much the tip of the iceberg of what your instinct actually is that right now you're not instinctive. And what you understand as instinct or the way you perceive instinct, which is not what you have access to, is that it's rebellious. So in your mind, there's 
all of that wildness that you feel in you, all of that freedom, you know it's there. But you're perceiving, putting that on set as rebellious, as rebelling against the story, against the character, against the director. And that's why you're not using it. Because your perception of it, because you only have access to a tip of your iceberg of instinct, is not what your instinct actually is. Your true instinct is so beyond a direction, is so beyond a character, is so beyond a story. Your instinct is your humanity. And what you are paid for, what you are hired for, what you are booked for is to bring your humanity. Right now, you do not have access to it because you've been raised, conditioned and wired to follow, to please, to be a good person, to look good, to do the things right, to be better than the others. But you haven't been invited to actually be in your true humanity, the one that's right under your conditioning mask, right? We're all raised with you got to feel this, you can't feel that, you got to think this way, you can't think that way. There's a right and a wrong, there's a good and a bad. And because you're raised that way, you're learning to disconnect from your truth and you put a mask on top of you. And that mask is not your instinct. So when you're stuck in that mask, when you're thinking about honoring your instinct on set, you're thinking, that can't be right. That is rebellious. It is wrong because it's not within that mask. No, it's everything that's under. But everything that's under that you've never tapped into because you've been forced out of your instinct since your childhood, from your family to your education at school to culture, wise you out of your instinct and into behavior, into being good, into looking good, into being appropriate and polite and pleasing. All of that takes you out of your instinct. When you have access to your real instinct, to your true deep instinct, when you do the work of unconditioning yourself and looking under the mask and getting that truth back, your humanity, your unique way to be human, which only you have, that's incomparable to anyone else, that unique combination of elements that make you, you, that unique combination of energies that make you, you, when you have access to that, it has nothing to do with rebellion. It has nothing to do with something crazy that you would feel that would go this way and that doesn't go that way. When you have access to your instinct, it'll be a state of oneness, a state of you can be in everything all the time at the same time. And within that openness, within that presence, within that um, aliveness that you'll get back from removing the mask going into your instinct and waking it up, you will rediscover your capacity to actually just be there, present, open to all of it, which is way beyond the story, way beyond the character, way beyond the director's vision. It's not that it disrespects it, is that it enriches it, but it takes it way beyond because it's true life that you're bringing to the table. True life, not submitting like a puppet, to what they want and trying to look normal inside of that, like trying to keep your head out the water. That is not what instinct is. Instinct, and instinct is not that crazy thing that you think is rebellious and wrong and there's no room for you to do it because you should be doing what you're told and you can't just have it your way. It has nothing to do with those two extremes. It has to do with the level of absolute openness to your humanity that makes any direction possible inside of you within the confines of your instrument, within your uniqueness. And so you're still able to bring your truth, your freedom to the story and the vision and the character that is right in front of you, which has nothing to do with rebellion and it has nothing to do with looking natural. It's aliveness, it's presence, it's pulse, it's openness, it's in the moment, surprising, it's ecstatic, it's magnetic, it's exhilarating for you and so addictive to people who watch you because nowadays no one is alive and open and instinctive and free and truthful. Everyone is in the looking good, right? Like look on social media, how everyone is taking selfies and looking good. That's the world we're living in. And your responsibility as artists is to come back here and be on those screens 
and remind everyone what it's like to actually be human, what it's like to actually feel something, what it's like to actually be open to life, to let something impact you, to feel emotions, to have your unique version of the experience, right? So if this rings a bell, if this makes any sense, and if you're wanting and craving that yumminess that only you have to be there, that you can enjoy it on the set, that you can feel the sense of, you know, the zone, the freedom, the exhilaration that you feel when you do those takes where you're completely in it, completely in the moment, completely free. If that's what you want as your baseline, if you've been missing that, and if you know that you want to honor the story and yet you're unable to come at it with your natural self, with your truth, with your freedom, then uh, let us know in the comments, send us a DM and we'll send you some information, ask us some questions. You can also find free trainings in the link in the bio, in the comments on YouTube, in the about section on Facebook. Um, how to stop being a great actor, a uh, good actor, sorry, so you have a chance at being great. So get that. It's free. You can start from there. And then from there, um, you know, that's a first step. And then if you want to know more, you can, you can ask us. We also have a wait list if you want to reset yourself and you know that this is for you. You've been checking us out for a while. Make sure that you get on the wait list so that we can send you the info when we open enrollment again. All right. Thank you, guys. Happy Monday. Bye-bye.